Aha, dinky do, Scotty McClure, just for you. Friday evening, nothing gets past me. Welcome, 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 I say, to our Friday evening tea time pop up and dinky do. I hope you're all well. I just thought I'd say a quick hi to you because we've got one week to go until I'm live on 96.3 on the FM in Glasgow and the west of Scotland. So there you are, one evening to go. I can't believe it. So there you are, one week and until we're up on the evening show. Scotty McClue's Nightline is the title. All right, Scotty McClue's Nightline. Never, ever, ever miss a second of that. And it comes on a week tonight, the 28th of September at 10 o'clock sharp, on Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3. Now, guys, tell everybody about this and spend the week sharing and sharing and sharing so that you don't miss a second of Scotty McClure. It's absolutely vital that you know about that. And I thought I'll pop up at tea time on Friday night. I know a lot of you will be getting ready to go away for the weekend. You'll maybe be away for the weekend. You'll be getting your evening meal sorted, your tea, all that stuff. Nick Baldy says, good evening. Good evening, Nick. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty, says Craig Fitzpatrick. Dinky do, Craig. James Stark's watching. Marvellous. Richie McCusker, another man I'm a great fan of. John Finlay. So there you are. You know I am a massive fan of you guys. And by the way, thank you for all your support over the years and years and years. Tremendous it is. And you step it through and stout out the door, says David Manson. Well, we will be, David, this time next week. Um, I have something uh, for you, Scotty. There we are. And Jenny Criminals watching, says Craig Fitzpatrick. So there you are. Men like out in the lash. Says George McNeil. Well, no, not everybody is like yourself, George. They might not. You know, they might just be having a quiet evening. Oh, of course, a few will be having a swift half. Good morning, Scotty. How are you? Plans for the week, Erica Meyer, out in Australia there, in Tasmania. Is that right? You're in Tasmania, Erica. You'll be stopping through and stout at the door, says David Manson. I think we probably will, David, but we do have to spread the word so that nobody misses out. I don't want anybody living in Scotland and the west of Scotland and in Glasgow not to be able to hear next week's show at 10 o'clock sharp on 96.3. Before anyone decides to do something, just remember, the judge isn't in till Tuesday, says Craig. Fitzpatrick, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Stephen Lipton's watching. Thank you, do love your tea, Stephen. Tremendous stuff. Now, do make a note of all this, guys. Get it down with a stub of a hard blank pencil and a threatening jotter with knee battle beside your telephone. Richie McCusker, all right, Scotty Paul. Richie, absolutely top stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Yes, I'm from Tasmania, Scotty, says Erica Meyer. Erica, have you ever come across a Tasmanian devil? Do please share with us. Very, very important. Spill the beans. So excellent stuff. We'd love to hear that. Let the cat out the bag. Or as I say in Yorkshire, eee, cat's out bag. All that sort of stuff. So wonderful. So do tell us a little bit about Tasmania because Scotty McClure's programs are always informative and educational and apparently entertaining. So there you go. I like your jumper. Thank you very much. This is my sort of country jumper so it blends in with all the trees when i'm out uh, photographing the birds all right scotty give rebecca and sam Irving a big hello so there we are thank you do thank you do absolutely stuart graham thank you do andy hughes thank you do lovely to have you all with us that is tremendous stuff guys excellent 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 so there we go quick pop-up friday evening tea time pop-up just to say hi to all what is going ping 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 is it all of you coming through will i turn that down there we are there might be less ping 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 but if they're still ping 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 we will put that on what we don't want of course is a pong 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 uh, i was watching your old call in what a crack that wifey saying she's going to sue you for being sarcastic does josh whitney little she was something else wasn't she 
All right, Scotty, says so Scott Morrison. Dinky do, I say, and dinky do to every single one of you. Now, the big news, James McDonald's laughing his head off here. The big news, of course, is that, well, I hope not literally, you know. Uh, Tom Conroy, dinky do, he's laughing as well. Lovely to have you with us, Tom. Excellent stuff. Sid Devine's watching. Hello, Sid. Good to have you with us. Paul Francis Carroll, I hope you'll be joining me next Friday evening at 10 o'clock sharp on 96.3, the country's top radio station, the big one, the one everyone is talking about, the one everyone is listening to right now. It's on right now. The music is outstanding. Derek McIntyre's on it. Ping pong, ping pong, ping, or pee, 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 pee. You get a pee, 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 pee sometimes when you're put on hold. You used to get a pee, 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 pee uh, if you couldn't get your money in on time in the old phone box. Does anybody remember that? Did you ever have a pee, pee, pee in a phone box? Uh, David McGill Moore's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Davey. And I hope all is well with you if you've just joined us. Welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet with a Friday tea time pop-up just for you. Pink Floyd in that record collection behind you. Bit of Pink Floyd, everybody on there. Hello, pal. Hope you've had a good day, says Thomas. Hi, Scotty. Bro, you're back. Lovely. Foot no football talk, right? Or we're on the block. Yes, George. Lifetime ban. Oh, red card. I need to write you one out, but red card. Some live music on the organ. Well, I don't know, Paul Francis Carroll. We will check that for you. Uh, yes, a very noisy animal's black and white dot Tasmania is a small island with around 500,000 people on the island. Half a million, that's big stuff, Erica. That's not that small. So there you are. That's about um, uh, a quarter of the size of 96.3 radio. Uh, Jennifer Jonathan, dinky do. Josh McNeil's laughing his head off. Dinky do from Tokyo, Scotty. And lovely jumper and bonnet. Who is in Tokyo? David McGill Moore. David McGill Muir. Moore. Fine. Fantastic. Moore. Excellent stuff. Finn and Kerry says, all right, all right, Finn. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClue. Friday night pop up just for you to say dinky do. Phil Symes watching. Excellent film. There we are. And uh, we'll do a bit of sharing, guys, shall we? Just let everybody know we're here. I'll have to uh, refresh, refresh the page. I've refreshed the page. If you don't mind, I have to have a wee kick round the side of you just to see what's going on on the other devices. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you all with us. There we go. And uh, evening, Scotty, says David Turner. Bertha King Patton is watching. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. A super lady in the port of Glasgow there. Hello, pal. Hope you have a good day. Can't wait until next Friday, says Thomas Hamilton. I know, Thomas. Neither can I. So I can talk to you all. And we'll have a wee bit of argy-bargy about stuff. Remember, no second names. Tony Conroy says, nice bonnet, Scotty. Thank you. This is from Yorkshire, from Ilkley. On your glimmer back hat. That means an Ilkley Moor without your hat. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Right, what have we got here? A bit of sharing. Excellent stuff. I'll just do that. Right, I'm going to share now. Sharing. Come on, get sharing, guys. It's all about the sharing. Tell everybody we're on. There's no point in me popping up and saying I'm on and everybody going, right, okay, we'll just watch you. We'll not share. Tell everybody, uh, it's a pleasure to hear your banter again, says George McNeil. It's a pleasure to hear yours, George. There we are. A kebab for the fatties, says Alex Charlotte. Maybe I have to make a special kebab for the fatties because we want to help the fatties. So there you are. Uh, Susan Forrest watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. Done, pal, says Thomas. Excellent, Thomas. I'm just going to do the same myself. And I'll share to a page. That's a, a Scotty McClure page. I'll just let them know what's happening here. So if you'll just bear with me, we'll get that shared. There we go. And uh, what shall I put? I'll put live now. Live now. Let them know. I've got to type, guys. You've got to excuse me. There we are. L-I-V-E-N-O-W. See, the lovable lassie of the big switchboard used to do all this for me, and I never had to bother with it. But now, of course, I've got to multitask, do a lot myself. 
John Mackay's watching. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, why do women take ages to get ready? There should be a time limit. Do you agree? Yes, a time limit for women to get ready. You see, right, you pop up, you've got 15 minutes. So there you are, 15 hours. Rab Hill, well, I suppose women tend to put on the slap. You know, they're... We don't do that. The guys don't do that, really. Although I have seen guys recently with a, a wee bit of slap on, wee bit of eyeliner, all that sort of stuff. Hello, Scotty, big man. What is happening? <laughs> General Mackay, Malcolm Smith, Dave Harley. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. Just a quick Friday night tea time pop-up to remind you all to prepare yourselves for next Friday at 10 o'clock sharp in the evening. 96.3 is the frequency, right? And this is a radio station called Nation Radio Scotland. Fantastic station. It's on now on 96.3. It's a tremendous radio station. So go and get yourself sorted on there. Hello, just in from work, Sir Susan Forrest. Thank you, dude, Susan. I hope you've had a lovely week at work and you haven't been working too hard down in Lancashire. Excellent. She's a lassie from Lancashire. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Um, do come on and let us know what you're up to right now. Are you going away for the weekend? Are you on holiday? All that sort of stuff. But the point of the pop-up as well is to let you know, new radio station, says Andy Hughes, yeah, absolutely brand spanking new. It's on an older frequency. It replaces the old Q96. It's a much, much bigger radio station. It'll be about, I don't know, maybe three times the size. So there you are. Women to ages to get ready to annoy us men. Just means we can have a wee drink while they're waiting, says Dave Harley. Nips on the side, as they say. Uh, looking forward to the new show. Why is it that Scotsmen are a wee bit secretive about drink? They sort of go like this. Um, the shop stairs, I, are you wanting a wee? I don't understand it. Why not shout out? Um, would you like a whiskey, Scotty? Right, ourselves getting ready, we can have a dram while we're waiting. But it's not, it's none of that, is it? Is it? She, she away up the stair, aye? Well, that's fine. Are you for a wee, um, can you take a wee dram? Oh, man, just a, just a small little I don't just... All that, carry on. I don't understand it. You know, crazy stuff. Same in Scotland, if you're wanting a job, instead of, like, just apply for the job and all the rest of it. No, you're not getting this because you didn't have that skill. It's all, um, see, keep in touch with me on Monday. I'm speaking to a boy over the weekend, you know, and um, he knows somebody that's kind of, you know, in there, if you know, if you can get my meaning, just hang around and I'll introduce you to him. Tip you the wink, give you the nod. Don't understand it, it's all I carry on. Uh, Sharice has joined us. Hi, Sharice Dinky Doo. Welcome, welcome. Oi, oi, Sharice. 10 p.m. next Friday, I shall be well oiled with a nice bottle. Uh, and he mentions a, a proprietary brand. But uh, tuned in the nonetheless, said Dave Manson. Well, don't have the bottle and come and talk to me instead. There we are. I'll just have a. All that kind of stuff, we would, you know. There we are, Sharice is having a laugh. Time for a wee drammy, Scotty, says Angus Cameron. I don't know, Angus, is the sun over the yard arm? I don't actually take it now because I've got so many things to be doing. I heard you were giving a, a caravan to the first caller, Scotty. No, Rab, you heard rang. So there you go. Don't start that. Can't wait to hear you back, Scotty, where you belong. On the radio, says Gerald Mackay. Absolutely, Scotty McClue should never have been off the radio, right? We wonder why. Yes, because it was nothing I did and it was nothing I said. So it could only have meant a wee bit of carry on further up the line. You know what I'm saying? All that kind of carry on. Right, Sharice, stinky do. Um, I'm half at Scotty. I'm half at as well, says Sharice. Half what? <laughs> so there we are. Are you half the hot chocolate? Uh, I still take a hot chocolate. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Tilt rang, says Sharice. Who's tilt what rang? So there we are. Sharice has a wee conversation with herself here, and you get a snippet 
You got to snip it. Don't let them get under your simit, says Stuart Graham. No, 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 Stuart. No, we'll be having no nonsense. And of course, as you know, Facebook's kind of sobered folk up a wee bit, kind of tobered them up, because we don't part with any nonsense on the Facebook Live. The other night, five people got a ban for life just for cheeking up. You know, they were mentioning football when they were asked, not tea. So there you are. Excellent stuff. There we are. Oh, she's half the juice. Excellent, Sharice. Good for you. You're better without it. You've got all your personality. I remember somebody saying to me, I says, why do people take a drink or take a drug? And they said, well, I suppose it's to escape. I says, to escape from what? And they said, well, from life. And I said, well, I don't want to escape from life. I want to enjoy a bit of life, you know what I mean? Even if it's tough going. No, 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 says Stuart Graham. Half the whiskey, says she's Oh, are you having you not? <laughs> Who can explain why people do that? So there you are. Why is it such a big secret that somebody's having a light refreshment? You know what I mean? Because that's kind of what it's there for. Um, I'm on it the night, weekend off for me of a full custody of my daughter, the house is quiet, says George McNeil. Greetings are late due to a cue in the chippy. Not good. Lol, says Mark Andrews. Welcome, Mark. You're here now anyway. So did you bring a wee note with you? Well, tell you what, we'll take that as your note. So there we are. Well done. Uh, what's your poison of choice, sir? Says Stuart Graham. I don't really have one now. I'm genuinely off it. Uh, you know, I used to enjoy a light refreshment. Uh, enjoyed, a, enjoyed a wee cider occasionally, you know. Maybe a sherry at New Year. That sort of thing. Excellent stuff. But of course, since we do the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash, I don't bother with any of that. Out the night in the Morite, says Sharice. Oh, Sharice, you're out on the lash. You're not a naughty girl. You look after yourself, dear. Because I'll tell you, attractive women out there, you know what I mean? You don't, don't want too much. They'll be chatting you up. You don't want too much of all that, you know what I mean? So just you enjoy yourself. Just you have a nice time. What about that? There you are. Well done, Sir Stuart Graham. No, absolutely, Stuart. It's just very, very busy. A lot of driving to do. A lot of people to speak to. People to see. A lot of business to be done as well. Very, very big business out there at the moment. A lot needing done. I don't have light refreshments, Scotty. Full blowout or nothing. Says Rap. <laughs> right, Rap. I understand. I can. Can. Uh, I'm off it tomorrow doing my taxi duty, says Andy Hughes. Absolutely. And you do your driving, Andy, as well. Uh, you like the frosty cider, Scotty. Uh, never seen an apple, says George McNeil. No, but I do like apple juice. Very good for you. It's all right, Scotty, to have hot pepper spray. Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't know what that is, Sharice, but it sounds like I know from me at the moment till we find out more. The wonderful J.P. McCusker Dinky do. Everyone's listening about going out for once it's a weekend in the flat and a cheeky night in my local pub. You can't beat that because they all know you then and they go, oh, the big fellow did a couple, you know, give it all the chat. Oh, oh, oh. You know, how oh, I've loosened his mouth a wee bit, you know. Uh, Andy's on at the Morite, so Charisse, uh, she, Charisse is saying, Andy, you're on it. So there you are. So you'll know what that means, Andy. You and Charisse office have a wee code going. I suppose it's maybe a, a CB line. So there we are. Yes, I'm on it. Nine four. Uh, Charisse, I'm a taxi for someone special. Hi, this is Frank Stewart. Dinky do, Frank. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. Quick Friday evening pop up just to say hi to you and remind you that we've got one week, one week to go until Scotty McClure is back on the airwaves live at 10 o'clock sharp on 96.3, the world's top radio station, the big one, Nation Radio Scotland. Tune in right now. The music is outstanding. The presenters are outstanding. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm not one to blow my own trumpet. You'll understand. But, you know, obviously, the presenters are of a very, very high caliber. So there you are. Excellent stuff. 
Pedro, says Johnson Tank. And to you, Johnson Tank. Uh, good evening, Scott Ayers, says Dee Gurley. Good evening, Dee. Thank you for all your support. Wonderful stuff. Andy says it's a secret. Shanice says we know who. They're having a wee conversation with themselves. They're Facebooking each other live on the Scotty McClure show. I mean, tut, 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 tut. I say, but that's what you get. Excellent stuff. Now, I appreciate it's your tea time, guys. This is just a quick pop-up to say hi from me, Scotty McClue. Friday night pop-up, just to have a quick chat to all of you and remind you that it's one week to go until we're live on the airwaves on Scotland's newest radio station and most brilliant radio station. Can I seriously suggest, this is coming from a guy with 40 years' experience in radio. Can I seriously suggest you tune in to 96.3? You will never, ever, ever want to tune away because the music is so good and the presenters are so good. You know, wonderful. Love you more, Scotty. This is Andy Hughes. Andy, stop it. Sorry, Scotty. This is Andy. No, listen, not a problem. Not a problem. You guys want to Facebook each other live on the Scotty McClue Show. I understand, you know, but you can do it in your own time as well. Cameron Phils is watching. Dinky do, Cameron. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, with a Friday evening tea time pop-up just for you. Scotty, can I just ask your comments on Theresa May's speech earlier? Do you agree? I say to you, what time and channel, says Sherry? Sherry, are you not up to date with this? It's been going around all week. Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3. You're in the East Coast, you might have to go online. Uh, can I ask comments about Theresa May? Um, all I'll say is, really what they want to do is rescind Article 50 and cancel Brexit until we're ready. And it would put us back in charge. Or somebody phones the EU and say, look, Sorry about the mix-up, but uh, we're going to take our time here. We're certainly not leaving without a deal. We're not going anywhere. We will stay at the moment, but we want such and such a deal. Scotty, that's some CD collection you've got behind you. Rab, there's stuff on there that even you'd recognise. Wonderful. I'm no well, Scotty, so Sherry's Sherry's. You know, we didn't like to see, but come on, you're absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Stop your nonsense. It'll be trapped wind. There we are. I've had that. Uh, Cameron Phils is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Sharice not with it. Tut, tut, says Andy Hughes. Sharice is fine, Andy. Leave her alone, I'll tell you. A super lady. Sharice, you should be up to date. Scotty McClure goes on live in one week's time on 96.3. And uh, you'll get it online. Nation Radio Scotland. Just put it into your Facebook, right? And can everybody go and like the page? I need a couple of hundred of you to like Nation Radio Scotland's Facebook page. Do it now. Do it right now because we want that 200 on there for tonight. So there you are. Nation Radio Scotland. And if you're stuck, you'll get it. The wee magnifying glass at the top of your page. So funny when people go, oh, could you all send me the link? Do you have the link? You say, stick Nation Radio Scotland into your remagnifying glass search at the top of your page. You're not afraid of what? Now, come on. I've got a chest infection, Scotty. I blew my whistle too hard last week. <laughs> so there we go. I'll tell you, well, don't stand too close to anybody in case they get it as well, Sharice. You know what I mean? Somebody else's chest could pick that up from your chest. There we go. And I think Sharice is going through. Andy, <clears throat> lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Friday night pop-up, just for you. Tea time pop-up. So I'm not going to hang about much longer because I know you'll all be starving. And you tend to watch me when I come up. I've noticed that. You're like, no, no, watch him. Then I, never mind the tea just now. Watch your chips all get going. Never mind my chips. Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live just for you, saying dinky do. So there we go. Uh, Ian Kerr, Ian White. There you are. Little bit of silence there brought to us, courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. Our thanks go out to them. That's what you call um, a woman standing in between houses 
Aline, <laughs> there are froze, froze, you're a statue. Losing the broadcast, says Andy. Broadcast back, Andy, never a problem. I'm sure your new shows are as good as or better than the shows from the 90s, Scotty, says David Manson. Well, I've moved with the times. Scotty McClure has always been ahead of the times. We never had a proper phone-in until Scotty McClure's phone-in in the 1990s. And then, of course, I've kept ahead of everything with all the technology, kept ahead of the radio stations, kept ahead of the television stations. And that's why we've got such big broadcasts on the likes of Facebook Live. The social media did one on Instagram yesterday. So there we are, 50p in the meter, Scotty. You froze. I froze. Could you still see my coupon when I had froze do tell me. I Scotty's back, says Andy. Uh, FB was playing up. Absolutely. There's always a wee bit of a wee technical glitch, you know. God of Sterling's joined us. Dinky doo la la. Lovely to have you with us. That was a serious question, by the way. The horsepower of a, a Gardner 3LW. Because I was wanting to know what sort of horsepower would be put out for two of them together as a, a matched pair. There we are. Oh! says Andy. Uh, Scotty, get the bills paid. So she reached all well, paying the bills, Sharice. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got one at all. So there we are. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say. What's the right way to sit on a lavvy seat? Preferably, probably, with your back to the wall, I would say. Your back to the flip-up bit. Um, Buckle, do you want a statue? Oh, so there we are, Sharice. So you can still see me, but I was just frozen, frozen to the marrow. There we are, a frozen tomorrow or frozen tonight. And um, I, a shiny coupon, says Andy. So, big shiny coupon up in your screen while I was froze. I didn't have that, you see. I just had to say reconnecting. So, there we are. Hi, Stuart Holton, dinky doo, lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, Friday night tea time pop up just for you. And uh, excellent to be with you all. Sharice, can you meet me up? Heart Hill Services, next Friday night with Agnes. I'm going to do a bit of sharing here, guys. See if you can share as well. Just let everybody know we're live. Fantastic. Yes, yes, says Sharice. So there we are. So when I was up in front of you there, you were getting a shiny coupon, but you could see me, but you couldn't hear me. I wasn't animated, as they say. I understand. We weren't actually in vision. Share now in public, well, big style. There we are. Right, I've just shared, so everybody will know that we're actually on now. Agnes, so she, yes, Agnes. Yes, that's right, uh, a friend or a, a, a connection with Gordon. She, he's never actually said what the connection is, but it's just kind of Gordon and Agnes, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, hi, says Tony. Hi, Tony Bamford, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And very, very warm welcome. You're wanting a wee wave? We'll give you one. There you are. You've had a wave. Excellent stuff from Scotty McClure. Um, Heart Hill is too far, says Andy Hughes. For Sharice, does she tend not to go out the area? Fair enough. Margaret McDonald, good evening. Good evening, Margaret. Lovely to be in touch with you earlier. And thank you for all your support. And dinky do, I say. I hope you'll join us. Uh, Agnes is a calm man. A calmer man. So there you are. What are you on about, Sharice? I've never heard so much nonsense in my life. So there you are. Right. Leave Agnes alone, for goodness sake. So there you go. Gordon will fill us in on the detail or not, as they say. But I wish you would tell me about uh, the horsepower of the Gardner 3LW. Uh, shout out to my mate Lee Griffiths, says Sean McWilliam. Absolutely, Sean, not a problem, I say. Scotty McClure can always manage a wee shout out just for you, dinky do. Now, I hope you'll all be around at 10 o'clock sharp next Friday evening, one week tonight, on 96.3 on the FM. If you're in Glasgow in the west of Scotland, tune in to that right now, and you'll never, ever, ever want to tune in away. 96.3, the big radio station, everybody's talking about it, the station for the nation, Nation Radio Scotland. I'm buckled, so should you see your buckled hen, buckled. So excellent. Lee Griffiths, dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure, of course, nothing gets past me, Friday night, you see.
Yes, I'm not as daft as I look, which is a good job, I understand. So there you go. Just a cheeky wee shout out to Sean Paul Goodyear's joined us, thank you dear. Uh, Dave Harley says, Agnes, you should open a dating site, Scotty. So there you are. Yes, I think Gordon and Agnes have maybe dated. Might even be a wee bit dated, you never know. Can I listen to you tonight in East London? Tony Bamford, you can listen to me right now anywhere in the world that has Facebook. We've had a lovely person on, Erica, from Australia there. Not a problem from Tasmania. Tasmania, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there you go. But you can listen, it's next week. All right, in East London, you'll get us online. Tune in, 96.3 Nation Radio Scotland. All right, you've got Nation Radio London, but this is Nation Radio Scotland. See you when you get back in the radio, Scotty. Is that the pop-ups finished, says Rab? Rab, I don't think so. The pop-ups are so popular. Two and a half million people have seen the pop-ups. More than that now. Probably 2.75 million. What a great goal from Lee Griffiths last night, says Sean McWilliam. Absolutely. Hey, Agnes. Oi, Agnes. Sharice wants to talk to Agnes Gordon. So I'm afraid you'll have to provide Agnes at some point to the show so that Sharice can say hi. Um, Sharice, no, Sharice, it's not. It's just me. So there you are. Who cares, Sean, says John Adams. Everyone, John Adams. Everybody cares. So there you are. Uh, will you have a phone in? It is a phone in, Tony Bamford. So it's called Scotty McClue's Nightline. It's on Nation Radio Scotland at 10 o'clock sharp on Friday the 28th of September on 96.3 FM. Go and tune in now. So there you are. Johnny and Sharice are having a chat, so we'll let them blether on. They're using Scotty McLeod's show to speak to each other. Guys, you two can talk to each other off the show. So there you are. Are you a selling man, Scotty? Uh, no, I don't sell anything at all. No, I'm not. I'm not a salesperson at all. So there you go. So I'm not really a sell ache person. All right, doll, says Sharice. Yes, Sharice. I'm all right, and thank you very much for asking. Right, I'll need to push off, because you guys will want your tea. And it's half past six already. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself, doesn't it? When you're having a nice time. So thanks very much for joining me for tonight's Tea Time Pop-Up, Friday night pop-up just for you, dinky-doo, and uh, join me next Friday night. Hopefully we'll speak before then, because Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp, We've got the program, so don't get confused. Nine o'clock sharp for the pop-up on a Friday evening, uh, on a Sunday evening, and Friday evening, 10 o'clock sharp for the radio show. All right? So, Friday evening, radio show, 96.3, 10 o'clock sharp. All right? This Sunday night, Facebook Live, pop-up, Nine o'clock sharp. Be there or be square, I say. Take care, big man. Andrew Rab, look after yourself. Dinky do. Sean McWilliam, you mustn't judge everybody by yourself. So there we go. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do. And thank you to you. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of either saying au revoir and a cheery oh. Dinky do, everybody. Cheerio, take care of yourself. Shall we say, Tara, last have a lovely weekend and Tara to all of you. Scotty McClure says, Dinky do. Scotty McClure has left the building. Ooh. <laughs>